Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Adorama TV, and today we're taking a look at a DSLR kit so you can go ahead and configure it for HDSLR type shooting. Now, this is typically referred to as a cinema kit, and I've got three parts. You could buy them individually or together. Let's break it down from the top. We've got the Flashpoint matte box here, and this sells for $250. Essentially, the matte box is designed to really serve two purposes. The main one is to keep matte filters in place of the lens. So you see here, I can go ahead and adjust the tension knob and take this out. And what I've done is I've dropped in some glass filters. Now, these are available from a wide range of manufacturers, but essentially, they allow you to apply things like ND filters. Remember, if you're shooting DSLR video and you want to open that aperture all the way up, particularly if you're shooting with a full frame sensor outdoors, you're going to get too much light in the camera because when you're shooting things like DSLR video, you have to go with things like shutter speeds of a 50th or a 60th of a second. So as you open up the aperture and you let in more light, you're going to get overexposed images. That's where filters come in. You'll also find things like ND filters, of course, for exposure, the ability to do graduated filters for a wide range of things, and this really comes in handy. So this particular map box has two filter frames, meaning that you could stack the filters up. The other thing is the French flags, and you see that these actually bend. I'll go ahead and adjust this a little bit towards the camera there so you can see it better. And these allow you to go ahead and adjust to keep reflections off the lens. So as we're working with that, that's going to allow us to go ahead and cut down on things like lens flare. Remember, lens flare is going to reduce the overall effectiveness and the contrast inside the image. The other thing that we have are some neoprene rings. And I'll take a look here. I'll just pull the camera out for a second. There we go. And what you see here is a ring. And you're going to get different sizes. These slip over the front of the lens here. I'm going with one that's a nice snug fit so it doesn't move around much. And then I'll just flip that forward. There we go and that creates some tension and you just sort of fold that and tuck it inside the matte box. Now it takes a little bit of pushing and trickery, but there we go. I've got that in place. We'll just tighten down the camera plate there and let me just turn that so you can see a little bit better. And what we have there is a good seal protecting light from coming from the back of the camera and getting in there. This is going to give you better control over exposure and also cut down on any unwanted reflections across the lens. Okay. Now, this whole thing comes with a two-year warranty, very sturdy, and I like the fact that it folds flat if you need to pack with it. The other thing I'm using here is a follow focus system, which also sells for $300. Now, the follow focus allows for very precise movement. It doesn't make the act of focusing that much easier, but what it allows you to do is do fine adjustments. So you still need to practice, you still need to rehearse the shot, but it does make it easier to make adjustments. Let's go ahead and turn this and I'll show you how it works. And you see the ring here. Now this ring has the ability to mark out some positions. And if you look, you'll see that there's a gear through here. Now this gear is gonna connect with the lens itself. I'll twirl this here for a second so it's a little easier to see. And what we've done here is we've attached a plastic gear, and this is just has a simple thumb screw, onto the focus collar for the lens. This is going to make it easy to make fine adjustments. We line that up and push it so the gears engage, and then tighten it down. Now, depending upon all the pieces, you might find yourself sliding things forward or backwards a little bit. Like in this case, I'm just going to engage that and push the camera plate forward about a millimeter. There we go. Gear is engaged. Tighten it down. Good. And as I turn that, What's happening is the focus controls are being adjusted. Now this is a stepped gear, so larger movement with the wheel turns into very small movement with the gear. This is important because it allows you to make subtle adjustments. Touching the ring itself and cranking on it is going to be too gross and it's going to create really dramatic changes. This is finer control, so if you need to do a gentle rack focus, you can. The other thing that's quite nice is we actually have these two stops. What happens with the follow focus is you want to adjust the focus for different positions. You maybe have heard the phrase, hitting your mark. What happens is you put the actor or your subject in their starting position, and you adjust the focus so you have it. 
and that works well. I say, all right, that's where I want them to start. And I put the stop in place. Then I have them move to their next position and I adjust. And when I find the mark that I want to hit, right about there, I just pull this to the ending position. And what you see there are two pins. So now as it rocks, I can go between those two pins and without even looking at the focus wheel, I know when I've hit my mark. So for example, if I don't have an assistant with me and I'm shooting and I'm looking through the viewfinder, I can go ahead and as I'm making my adjustments, hit my two marks and I start to get feedback as I hit those positions. Now, you're not restricted. You can actually crank past those, but it's gonna give you enough of a feedback when you hit that position so you know that you hit the mark and then if you need to, just gently keep turning and it will release the tension and you can go past it. So this is really flexible. Now the last part we have here is the actual mount itself. You see that we've got a rod system, a shoulder pad, the grip handles, and this is useful for running gun type shooting as well as mounting on a tripod. You could take this and connect this directly to the tripod, giving you the rail system and you've got the flags and everything attached. What we have here are carbon rods using industry standard 15 millimeter bars, making it easy to attach additional accessories. But we also have grip handles, so when I'm ready to put this on my shoulder, you see that I've got a comfortable shoulder pad and I've got my grips. Nice, really comfortable, spongy grips that are sturdy. So if I have to go one-handed and let go, it's still a stable platform. This allows me to go ahead, get that, tighten them down so I'm satisfied with their position, feels good. And then I can engage things like the follow focus. I could also put a loop or an eyepiece here and have a very stable rig and use my body for the camera movements. This allows you to move with the shot. So instead of handheld and jiggly, turn your body and pan. Bend the knees and lift up to follow the action. And this is going to really help you stabilize the overall shot. So very versatile system, and it's designed for a variety of body types because you could adjust the positions of these bars, moving them in and out. You've got six bars, so you can adjust the overall rail and slide this so it's in a comfortable position. It's also a quick release plate. You can go ahead and turn the release, push the button, and then slide the camera back. And you just have to gently push it, but it'll clear the trigger mechanism, comes right out, and then you can go ahead and transfer this. So you need to go to a traditional tripod. You've got a pretty standard plate there. So in all in all, very flexible system. Now these individual pieces are 300 for the map box, 300 for the follow focus and 250 for the rail, but they also sell it as an all-inclusive cinema bundle for 600 bucks. So if you're looking for a great starter rig, it's a very versatile system and it'll get you all the essential pieces you need to go ahead and begin with DSLR shooting. Now remember, a tripod is a great place to start, but when you graduate and you want to start getting into camera movement and having more flexibility with your shots and the design for your overall video, this is going to be a very effective starting kit. For Adorama TV, my name's Rich Harrington. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.